so on the last episode, I mentioned the possibility of another massive skilling goal. I haven't done a big skilling goal since the torture grind. And this grind is to get 99 construction for that construction cape because it's one of the best useful capes in old school at the moment. It has infinite teleports to your house, which is amazing. You can use that teleport whenever you want and across any spell book. So super useful for any PVM and traveling purposes. So I have thought about it and I'm going to be going forward with this new goal of mine. So overview wise, I need about 9.7 million more construction experience in order to get 99 construction. So that's a lot of experience. And that's approximately 85,000 teak planks. So in my bank already, I already have quite a bit of the uh, planks already, about like a mil plus. So that's nice. I only have to collect about, you know, seven to eight million more construction experience with the planks. And to do that, most of the T planks will come from cutting it. And a decent amount will be coming from the kingdom. So I will be investing, you know, a lot of my money into the kingdom for those extra planks. So as time go by, even if I don't cut the teaks, I will get some free planks from the kingdom. So I'll quickly demo what this method is. It's super simple. You just need to be on Zaya's spell book and you teleport to Apatol, climb up the ladder, this is the uh, dungeon by the way in Apatol and there you go, there's the teak trees and what you do is you cut the teaks, you get the logs, get full inventory bam, you teleport to your house and there should be a butler, you know, in your house and yeah, you just tell him to send the logs to the sawmill and then he'll bank it for you as well into planks too ever since I got 99 farming, I actually switched up the uh, resources that I wanted my workers you know, to start working at so I'll show you what I've done so far ever since then so I've put all of my resources into the hardwood so I should get quite a bit of teaks uh, when I collect it in a second and the rest is just for herbs just cause uh, yeah, you never know you might need more herbs in the future so I always have that for backup so let's collect this so yeah, let's check it out. Okay, I already got 6,000 teak logs, man. This shit's amazing. Alright guys, so I made a little adjustment to my kingdom. So instead of doing teaks, I'm switching over to mahogany because I uh, did the math wrong for mahogany. I thought there were 120 XP uh, log instead of 140. It's actually 140. So that means you would get more XP overall per day using mahogany. So I should actually get more XP per day from the kingdom than I was expecting Which is even better because that means overall less uh, logs to make to planks So at maximum I will be getting approximately 31,000 construction experience worth of logs a day from the kingdom if I do mahogany So I'm almost done fully prepping for this construction guide The only thing I need to do now is to make more teleport to houses because I am on Sarah's spell book. The fastest way to get to my house will have to be the uh, tablets. And luckily for me, I have tons of nuggets that is just sitting around until this moment. And that should get me 2,500 soft clay. So I'm gonna make 2,500 home tablets and I think that should cover all of the trips that I need to get the teak planks for the 99 construction. Let me tell you guys, this dust battle staff that I got from, I believe, a superior a while ago is going to be so useful because it is the perfect staff for uh, making teleport to house tablets. It's unlimited air and earth runes. All you gotta do is bring the law runes, nothing else, and I can make the house tablets. Beautiful. Oh no, it's glitched! Oh no, fuck, never mind. Wait, 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 I might be able to pull this off. I might be able to pull this off. Oh my god, it glitched, but I managed to uh, get it down so low that I had enough time to, to fix it. I don't need to make any more tabs. I gotta save a little bit for some clues, maybe. But I have made 2,500 plus teleport house tabs. So what that means is, yeah, with this many teleports, I can get myself 65,000 teak logs which is uh, more than enough since I already have you know pretty much 20,000 out of the 80 plus thousand I needed so yeah 65 uh, thousand worth of teleports is good enough we can start cutting whenever okay let me check my servants money bag I need to see how much money is left in there 750k 
I'm pretty sure I will need to invest a few mil into this construction grind, at least for just paying, you know, the butler to do all the transportation stuff. And not including planking, but yeah, let me, uh, I don't know, I'll, I'll just put a solid 5 mil so I don't have to worry about it. Oh wait, what? It maxes out at 3 mil, apparently. Yeah, okay, 3 mil is the max. That's fine. I need to go on my viewer and move the dining room uh, to one of the entrance rooms because that way I can just get to the butler quicker. I believe it's this one. Yep. We're going to move it over here. Just like that. And it's done. Holy shit, I can't believe I tanked that hit. No way, did I actually do it? <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? I don't even know how I managed to do that, bro. I totally forgot about this building that you can install in your dining hall. Really good for whenever your butlers, you know, decided to stray too far from the entrance. So I have done the math and I need about at most 40 million GP to convert the rest of the logs that I would need to get to 99 construction. So I'm pretty confident that I have, you know, more than enough alcohols to cover that cost. So we should be all set money wise. Been a little bit since the last agility level, but these stamina pots are necessary for my raids and yeah, they keep me with some consistent agility XP. 82 agility. Pretty nice. Wouldn't expect my agility to, you know, go up any more than the like 70 whatever it was for the longest time. 250k to 83. Depending on how much raids I do, we'll see uh, 83 agility maybe soon. So guys, for my teak planks, I'm going to be making the teak garden benches in your superior garden. I don't think there's anything better uh, than this to use your teak planks on. At least for teaks, you know, mahogany is a little different. But you can also do mahogany benches as well. I'm pretty sure they would be pretty nice here. I don't know when Jagex updated this, but it is insane. You can actually press numbers in your keyboard to actually make items in your house. So the teak garden bench is allotted to the number one. Look at this. You see my mouse? It's not touching the bench. So all I gotta do is, is start holding the number one, right? And then I'm gonna move on to the next bench and I'm still holding the number one. Keep in mind, I'm still holding the number one. That's how crazy awesome this update is. Look at that. This makes construction even more convenient. If you thought doing construction with just your, you know, your mouse was fast, Oh no, this is way faster and way easier. I'm literally just holding the number one and I can build my bench instantly and I can remove my bench pretty much instantly. All right, guys, this is gonna be the plank for the 86 construction, very nice. Ooh, now I can hold 30 rooms, but check out the XP rates, dude. 465K an hour. It's probably more like 440, 450K in a more lax manner, but that's insane, dude. You get this kind of XP rates from doing teak planks now. And this rate is pretty easy to do, you know, especially with the ability to hold your number key in your keyboard. To do most of it, it's insanely fast. So yeah, I'm really impressed with this. So that's giving me a lot more motivation, you know, to do teak plank grinding. Wow, are you serious? Come on. Yes, I got it. Haha, <laughs> that was clutch. I got it before I died. Like right there. There we go. Fourth ray of the day. Oh my god damn bro. I actually got something. Holy shit. But ah my voice hurts. God damn it. A long long day today. But uh okay, um that's another prayer scroll. What is fifteen mil man? It is um it has definitely lost a lot of value, huh? How many arcane scrolls have I gotten then? Oh, okay. I, this is my fourth arcane, my second arcane solo. Okay, that's cool. I'll take that, man. Finally, I broke a, a small, little small dry streak, but of course, not a unique item, so. Here we go. Got another construction level, 87. I'm actually getting even higher XP rates, dude. I was going like 470, 480k, it seems. And yeah, it was not that hard at all, I guess, you know, as muscle memory for this gets a little better. All right, another quick construction level, dude. 88. Amazing, yo. And 2150 uh, total level, which is pretty cool. Oh, yeah, there we go. At 88, 
the stash unit is unlocked so I guess I can make the remaining stash units I haven't made without having to bring my crystal saw so that's cool so here is a quick overview of my construction progress so far 299 so I am stopping at 88 for this video but I will be getting probably 90 plus in the next video and in terms of what's left in my bank at the moment I have approximately 1.2 million experience in construction in planks not including the logs and in the logs alone it's about 1.7 mil construction experience so let's just say I have 3 mil more construction experience banked so if you stacked that experience on top of what I currently have in construction then I will be at about 7.4 mil construction experience so that means I need to gather about 5.6 or so million more construction experience in most likely just teak planks and you know a little bit of mahogany from the daily kingdom and a little bit of mahogany from the daily raids. I will be wrapping up today's video here guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this new skill and gold I have set for myself. It's definitely a bit refreshing for me as well you know since uh, at least lately I've been mostly just focusing on PVM so it's good to take a little break and you know mix it up with a good amount of interesting skilling and PVM as well. So if you are new to this series and you want to stay up to date feel free to subscribe to the channel but other than that I will see you guys later with hopefully another video in a few days. Take care.